Presidential campaigns are sometimes good for business. At Saturday Night Live, especially, they've been spoofing candidates and politicians for more than 40 years. Willie sat down for a rare conversation with the show's legendary creator, Lorne Michaels. Guys, good morning again. This campaign has been a particularly target environment for SNL. I talked to Lauren at the George W. Bush Presidential Library and Museum in Dallas with President and Mrs. Bush. They're hosting us. Maybe I could use you up on Capitol Hill. I'm the president. From presidents. It's called an executive order. To candidates on the campaign trail. Debates are stupid. Saturday Night Live has been finding the joke in politics since Chevy Chase became a stumbling President Ford in 1975. Gerald Ford didn't really fall much, but something about the way Chevy played him rung true. And I think you want to find the way in who that person is that, that's true, but maybe not literally true. Lorne Michaels was introduced at the Bush Library by the subject of one of SNL's most famous impersonations, President George W. Bush. When I mangled the English language, it was to give Saturday Night Live something to put on the air. I can't tell you how long I had to practice strategery. Strategery. What makes for you a good year? It's always the writing, but it's also who's playing who. Long before Will Ferrell took on the 43rd president, Dana Carvey did an unforgettable version of our 41st. My guy died. In 1994, with Carvey back to host SNL, President Bush sent a message. Saturday Night Live made fun of me on a fairly regular basis. <laughs> and I'll have my revenge when the time is right. Not now. Wouldn't be prudent at this juncture. Dana captured something of President Bush that was sort of magical because he's right, he didn't say not gonna. <laughs> there has been a pair of Hillary Clintons in recent years. Hillary, Hillary, hello, Hillary, Hillary. And then there are those who were just born to play the part. And now I'd like to entertain everybody with some fancy pageant walking. Sarah Palin is announced as the vice presidential nominee with John McCain. Yeah. And I know the story goes that your doorman said to you, hey, yeah. the new lady looks like Tina Fey. Yeah, what a gift. Yeah. <laughs> you specifically coughed into no. it. I saw it. No, I didn't. In the same way with Bernie Sanders, I got a couple texts from people saying, Larry David is Bernie Sanders. By offering a German fested hand. Again, the audience determined it. Michael's conversation was part of a new exhibit at the Bush Library called Path to the Presidency which features priceless relics of American presidential campaigns through the years. Visitors learn to work the crowd like pros. You know, that's always been a part of campaigning, going out meeting people, and a lot of shaking of hands. So we want people to say, how does my uh, grip measure up to others? OK. I'm not say. <laughs> I think you want to go firm, but not too firm. That's right. You don't want to break a hand. Exactly. Right. right. To get the message out. So what's the key to a good poster? Uh, to get your message in a few words and make a point that people won't forget. And once the nomination is locked up, it's time for the convention speech. Please welcome the Republican candidate. Fellow citizens, I'm honored by your support and I accept your nomination for President of the United States. Before a candidate makes that speech this year, he or she will have to go through SNL. I'm young, Cuban, and let's face it, I'm the only one up here you'd swipe right on. There are people who say that SNL helps, if not shape, presidential campaigns, at least define some of the candidates. Do you believe that's true? Does SNL have that power? We're almost, you know, and only in the world of perception. And how things are perceived is a big part of things like getting people up out of their houses to vote. But I think we can change how someone's perceived sometimes. I want to thank again President and Mrs. Bush for hosting us there. They were sitting in the front row during that entire conversation <laughs> and we were showing clips of Will Ferrell doing George W. Bush and you're kind of looking out the side of your eye and have to say to his credit, President Bush didn't just give the courtesy laugh like I'm a good sport here, belly laugh, head back, laughing at Will Ferrell doing George W. Bush. It was a fun day. Good sport. The Path to the Presidency exhibit at the George W. Bush Library and Museum runs through October. And be sure to catch SNL this Saturday with hosts Peter Dinklage and musical guest Gwen Stefani. Just love the highlight reel of all those yeah. sketches. Yeah. Willie, thank you so much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.